All right. So. God damn. I gently placed my hand on Jugo's like his body. I touched her wrist and checked her pulse like they do in the movies, but she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check after all those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Haha. Uh -huh. Hold on. Oh, oh, just wait a second. She's dead? Then that means... That means everything that's happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever, it's really real? Hell no, so someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your you're, problem? You're just now accepting that? Okay, um... First things first, as per investigation, I think questioning people, especially people that... Well, maybe we should probably try and collaborate with someone. Clearly, um... Uh... Kirigiri and Byaku is the star ones here. Celeste maybe, um, have some sort of information she could tell us or whatever. Um, because clearly she's about to die too if she gets this wrong. Or maybe she's the one that actually murdered her. And she's trying her best not to get caught. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna try and pin some possible leads or something. Um, Unless Yasuhiro has been acting this entire time, I don't think he did the murder. Um, Hifumi Yamada. I don't see any reason why he would do such a thing. Chihiro Fujizaki. On the way her personality is right now. She is an intelligent person, so she might be able to do some time. I have absolutely no leads against her. Kirigiri. Hmm. She's awfully calm about this whole shenanigan, but that could just be her personality. Whoever's really okay, so um, people that are really desperate to really get the fuck out of here, um, Monado boy here definitely. Um, judging from her personality, I don't think she did it, but looks can be deceiving, and she definitely did want to get out of here. Same thing goes for wherever that Sakura. Where the fuck are you? Oh, there you are. Uh, same thing goes for Sakura. Like, she wants to get out of here, but at the same time... She is definitely capable, but... Wait, no. If she's capable of doing it, why would she need a weapon to begin with? Maybe she's trying to... I'm not sure if she's the smart type, honestly, though. I think she's more of the honorable type, if any. For now, I'm gonna not assume Sakura, but a possibility is still a possibility. Celeste, again, like a possibility, but again... She could be just... Yeah, um... If Junko was really smart, she wouldn't fuck with Monokuma. So the fact that she's dead right now, uh, yeah. Or maybe she was like, maybe she is trying to play the whole thing, but that plan backfired and she's dead for it. So it's possible that she could actually, she killed um, Sayaka, but at the same time, I don't see a whole lead of motive. Ryakuya, I, I just don't trust him in general, honestly, but, eh, whatever. Kiyotaka. I'd say I trust him, but I, I don't know. I, with, basically, with anything else in here, I really don't trust anyone, honestly, but... I think Leon might be a good culprit, because he's definitely, like, the freaky type, and he really wants to get out. So I'm pinning... So far, on people that really want to get out. So my leads are maybe Leon, very small chance, but I, I, Aoi, Mondo, maybe Sakura, and maybe Toko too. Everyone else, I think this guy's too dumb to really figure things out. But again, he might be just acting. I don't know. I might be just overthinking things though. But all right, uh, let's start off with. Can I talk to Toko? Yes, I can. Hold on, let me get my earphones out. I've been listening to the... I'm pretty sure the sweet music. I heard that in the comment section, there's no copyright strikes, and... From the videos I uploaded so far, there were none, so that's good. She must be so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. God damn it! Okay, so no interrogation, never mind. What about everyone else? Consciousness has crashed. Restarting now. Please wait a moment. Alright. Maybe interrogation time is what not... Someone got right in front of us. They... 
Mm -hmm. Alright. Sakura. Ugh. We can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. Alright. Come on, man, let me out of here! Come on, someone let me out! Alright. So he's definitely the person that wants to get out of here, but at the same time. Uh. Huh? Is this really happening? Don't Screw this me. piece of shit bear! Alright. Kyoko. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hm. You're thinking of, you're thinking about putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? That is true, like, someone could tamper with the evidence. Someone could, like, look at each other or something. After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind, I don't mind doing it. I don't mind having to think anyways. Hold on, someone at the door. Be right back. Uh. Alright, I'm back. Um, Monado is on guard duty. Hmm. But at the same time, I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Okay then, we can let Mon like we can let Mondo look after the scene, unless he's the killer. Well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. We have to guard the guard, of course. Am I am I right? What? What? Why the hell not? Stop. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in position to destroy all the evidence you want. What? Fuck you! So Fine then, I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two player co op based defense on the two of. Oh, whatever, I, I don't feel like doing his voice or anything. Since we don't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Okay. So now we know who's on guard duty. We got two people Sakura and Mondo. Iowa, what do you have to say? I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it, or else we're all we're all dead. All right, Celeste. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the huh? Notice what? <laughs> I was looking through Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah. Huh? She's right! Hey. Then, could it be? All at once, everyone gazes turn to me. Hold, hold on a second, you got it all wrong! Before just one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. You expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. Okay, so now I'm the culprit, even though clearly I wasn't the one that killed her. Wait, hold on, what if we kill for self- No, no, that's still considered murder, isn't it? Fuck. Okay. So yeah, we- e even for self-defense, we kill someone. That's probably gonna get us in trouble even more because we know the motive and we know- Huh, God damn it. Mm. God damn it, Saka, why'd you have to ruin everything? Okay, so, yeah. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned, in my other words. Y you think I did it? So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this room and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to, the, to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. Will we get this wrong? So. Well, do I really have to say anymore? Perhaps you. I'd rather you did now. Goodbye. Everyone pray to good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. I'll be going too. And just like that, Kyoko was gone. He was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head out to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, you're fucking dead. They better not let me. F yeah, they better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull mine myself. I'm serious, I will fuck them up! Letting his deadly words hang in the air. I think he's like the only guy that ever fired the goddamn F-bomb in this game. 
So, but, um... I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know, and we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway... We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who... What are you implying? This is very It was suspicious. you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Don't come any closer! Are you gonna kill me next? Well, I guess it would hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. That's true. We may as well at least check just to check. Even if we wanted to, I could get help in the... I... Yeah, no. Wait, why not? I'm not good with b b blood. It all takes is one good glimpse and I black out. Oh yeah. Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you, anyways. All right, I best I go then. Wait, I, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left, and their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it not turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will die. <laughs> Execution is basically execution. Electric chair. All right, I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants me. All I have to do is find out who really did it, who really killed Sayaka. Although, because we're investigation time. Oh shit! Hello. I guess I should look around the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizano. The time of death is estimated to be around 1:30 a.m. The blood was discovered in Monokuma's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound in the abdomen. There was also an injury on a right wrist. Okay, specifically the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow I had to find had to know the truth so that we can all survive. And for Sayaka. I had to find out how she was killed! Monokuma file number one has been added to your truth bullet section of your handbook. So I'm guessing this is where um, the investigation and the um, Phoenix Wright style turns in. The truth, the truth thing, the truth bullets. We got one evidence so far. It's the Monokuma file, of course. So it states the time of death, estimated, um, the, where it is, and the fact that she has a wrist on her right wrist? Uh... Right wrist has been fractured. Right, okay. So, there's definitely was a struggle. I mean, if she was really suicide, why go all the way out? So, suicide is out of the question. Okay, so it's definitely murder then. <laughs> Reveal what personal... I don't think it's really a point in presenting anything. Okay, um... This is investigation time. Let's start off by... I don't think these guys have any, um, things, but, um... Uh, no way, I just don't want to die here! I'm betting you, God, Buddha, Fourth Earth, the God of Space, King Neptune, help me! I don't care who it is, just get me out of here! Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigation right now. Are you going to help investigate you? Are you going to help investigate your hero? Um... But I can't just leave Junko here. I, I feel sorry for her. I have to stay with her. Right, right, Junko. Okay. We should probably save this game just in case. Hold on a minute. Yeah, let's leave the gym. I don't know if I'm any in any case to investigate, but in order to prove my name innocent, I think I have to be willing to investigate as well in order to... And, of course, we got two bodyguards, so if I'm really suspicious, then people would definitely suspect me even more if I do tamper with the evidence. So, yeah, I'm going alongside with the investigation as well. How do I get the fuck out of here? Exit? Yes, leave the game. Okay. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We won't make any progress without investigation there. I'm not sure if there's like a time limit or anything, but... So I head to my room where Sayaka's corpse is still remained. Oh boy. Alright. I better examine the state of the room a little closer. I might... That might reveal something new. Okay, so first off, the paint roll is still in the exact location, so... I don't think anyone painted her to death or something. Looking at the lint roller, it looks like there was way less than... There was before, really? Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean it up a little? Well, she did a bang up job because everything still looked dirty as fuck. Alright, um... First off, this table's been knocked out. And this trash can as well, but I can't investigate that at all. 
All right, let me. Actually, no. I should talk to people first before we do anything. Also, where the fuck's Biyaku Kayu? I'm guessing he's inside the bathroom. I'll talk to him later once we can just get. All right, Sakura, what you got? Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I'm not trying to make assumptions here like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did it. Did it. <laughs> Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. All right. And Mondo. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the Daadi, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, th that's definitely possible. You son of that dirty bastard! Anyone who raises their hand onto that woman is a scum! That deserves death! That's what my brother taught me. Yeah. So if I ever dead. find that son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in! But what if it was a girl that did it? <laughs> Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. Okay, um, I guess he's not a lady killer then. Um, trash can! Although, there's nothing here, so I'm guessing. Alright, so clearly there's scruff marks here. But let's investigate this interesting little key. There's the key on the ground. It has my name on it. So this must be my room key. If I remember correctly... Ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. I still have her key then. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. So Saika would have to have the key in her in my room the entire time. So she never left to begin with. So whatever happened, she definitely didn't leave whatsoever. That's the only conclusion I could come up with. Wait, if that's true then, how did the killer get into the room in the first... Oh, never mind! Now that I think about it, if that really is the case, she must have actually gone out somewhere. And then someone could have barged in with my room key and... That's... Alright. Could Saika have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Saika. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? So whoever did it... After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something? No, the my explanation is that someone was hiding in my room? Maybe? That's the only explanation I can gather. Maybe someone is actually trying to kill me or something. But I guess because of the fact that Sayaka is here... Or Wait, no, yeah! There's a... Banging door. Maybe the whoever the perpetrator lured her to my room, or something. But wait, if I was asleep the entire time, and I'm pretty sure I still have my key room. So whoever did it must have probably. I'm probably just overthinking things here, but um, hide it somewhere in my room, and I mean, under the bed. That do, that doesn't seem like a big place at all. And only I know where the bathroom is, too. And my bathroom door definitely does have, like, a specific lock combination. So... Oh, boy. And she was the... That, that was the only one that, um... Fuck. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something? No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when she switched the rooms. Exactly. Like I said before, do I even need to talk talk about the investigation? It seems like my character does it for me. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So did the killer? Not only that, but when I was leaving my room, that means, um... I didn't see anyone in the hallway. I rushed into Saika's room immediately. Then again, maybe the, that's the perpetrator's plan. Okay. How did the killer... Switching rooms had been added to the truth bullet section on your handbook. So yeah. Switching rooms, definitely impossible. Unless she did something. I don't fucking know. But um... Yeah, that's... Alright. The sword. Let's look more into the sword. This is the replica sword I brought back for the self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself until now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. 
on top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and the handle. So the sword was used and the gold spark. Okay, so there's like some CF mark. So definitely the gold has to have some sort of residue somewhere, right? Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you touch it a little bit. Okay then. So whoever, I oh don't know, he, prob he or she probably like washed off the coating or something. But any gold definitely has to be suspicious. Replica sword has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Alright, so the sheath is out. I don't want to investigate inside her dead body just yet. I think just investigating yet myself would be pretty scary. Alright, let's look at these scratch marks here. There are scratches on and gouges on my walls and beds. Is that evidence of a struggle? <sighs> that seems obvious, right? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Oh yeah, there's also scuff marks on my bed as well, so maybe she was sleeping when it... Damn it, I was right there in the other room. If I only I heard something. God damn, that's... Yeah, because places are soundproof. Fucking hell. Alright, wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? <laughs> Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in this room right next to you, and there's no way we can know. Well, perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for a murder. Really. Evidence of struggle had been added to... Okay, yeah, that seems obvious. There's a struggle. But, where... okay, so where's the struggle here? It's on my bed, it's on the ground, it's on um, the wall markings. Is it gonna be the same thing, or... There are scratches on gouge on my walls and beds. Okay, so yeah, it's basically repeating the same thing. Well... Uh, oh shit, dang it! Oh, I maxed that too much. Shit. Well, okay. Alright, let's look at this uh, sheet then. This is the replica sword I brought back for self- Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, never mind. Alright, so at least it's telling me what it's repeating exactly because I want to be extra thorough just in case. Replica sword has been- Wait, hold on. Did they add... Wait, hold on. Did they add new information on the replica sword? Hold on a minute. Replica sword sheath, okay. Makoto took this to the gem entryway and put it into his room. The sheath was found somewhat distant from the sword itself, and it shows evidence of being scratched with a sharp object. Okay. So, that's clearly a knife then. Because my, my sword replica is only for self defense, not for murder. Alright then. I didn't talk to her, did I? Let me check. Let's talk to her, actually. Hey. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly call her name while she still was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. Not really. Checking for the gold prints, maybe? I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of the room. And of course, her upskirt shot is not at window already seen. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but it seems like she's concentrating pretty hard on it. Alright. A few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so, but what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. <laughs> Gold marks, I'm guessing? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I couldn't find a single strand of hair. Interesting. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that I, you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like a lint roller on my room had been used, but I'd never touched it. Could someone have used it? I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone using your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Saika or the killer? Well, that's the question, isn't it? My Mark Makoto's room cleanliness has been added to. Well, okay. That is some very in-depth thorough investigation. I have to applaud you there, Kiyagili. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was inside to clean it up? We don't know who did it, it was Murderer or Sayaka. But to the extent to cleaning fucking hair? 
And it seems like there's no hair strain on there whatsoever, so... Yeah, whoever this guy is, is trying to be very thorough. So it's obviously someone that's actually pretty smart. Or it could be really Sayaka and... Alright. To the bathroom we go. I should look around here first. Oh, there's... I can check out the spots later. Okay, so there's still more investigation thing. Alright, um... Toolbox, right. Maybe that's a murder weapon or something? The toolkit is still inside this drawer. I don't see any evidence that's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Okay, then. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? We ain't exactly what? in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? Again, I'm assuming that maybe the... Whatever. No. So you haven't used yours either? What? Not just me. Nobody's busted their ass out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. None way. of the guys have opened their toolkits yet, because, like, why the hell would we... What would we? Toolkits has been added to the truth bullets. Okay, so no one has used the toolkit. So we don't have to worry about that too much. Or at least my toolkit wasn't used. I, uh, okay, what about this PDA-looking thing? The notepad's still here, but I don't see the relevant right now. You know, we could just... We can't hack out through the camera now, can we? Because that's obviously showing the murder! Fuck. Okay, it's the Ren's camera. The mastermind must be using them to keep an eye on everything that happens here. They don't really do anything to stop what's happening, and they just keep on watching. Okay, so, uh, yeah, what about this fucking... thing? I can't investigate either one of these, so... And what about my bed? They're gouging the bed like someone attacked it. Okay, so even though... Alright, so we still have to be very thorough, though. What the hell happened here? Is that it? What about the TV? This one on the monitor's monocle appears right now is just showing the school crest. Okay. Anything on the windows? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I'm wondering if I have investigation ideas. I'm having no leads whatsoever. What about the light? I can't investigate the light. It's up here, I could? No? Okay. What about the fucking plant? The Sakura. What if I go outside? I should check this room first of all. Okay. What am I missing here? Mm -hmm. Well. We have to re-talk to these guys again? Maybe they have some new information? No, nope, never mind. They're saying the same thing. Alright, what about I talk to um her again? Kyoko. Hey. This is I suspected. There's something very unusual about your room, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, okay, so yeah, reread. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so hair. Chair. I'm running out of places to investigate. <laughs> what about under the can I even check under the bed? No, it's still checking the bed, never mind. What about specific parts of the bed? Like, maybe the scratch area? No. What about the pillow, actually? Let me know it's the pillow. The pillow has not been scratched whatsoever, so... Alright, what about... Those scratches? Or, I'm still... You know, replica sword. Fuck. There's some scratches on the sheath. We must have made... Must have made with something... But how does she get scratched in the first place? If someone is using a sword during the struggle, it doesn't make any sense for she to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could slide off in the middle of a fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? What other place is... This thing? No, that's a door. Fuck, okay. What about this pipeline thing? I seriously can't investigate anything else. What about this... Trash can! The shadow! The display stand, the sword is on it. That totally helped. Fuck, okay. You got anything to say, Mondo? By the way. You know, I realized something when I was on guard. The killer could have actually destroyed some evidence. Oh, fuck, never mind. Before anybody found the body, I mean. Trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed. Oh, the trash room! You son of a. <laughs> you fuck. Alright, we could probably investigate the trash room for any leads, maybe. But I can now, can I? Fuck, okay. Is 
on the other side of this door. Oh, there we go. All right, now we can investigate this area. Okay. No. I cannot let it get to me. I cannot afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Oh, boy. She had lost everything that made her her. Sayaka. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened! I want to give up. I want to collapse. But the fat thought helped me and supported me. Okay. Time to investigate her dead body. First off, there's 737 there. That could be suspicious. I looked at past the beyond the wall, and then I saw 11037. Okay, did Sayaka do this? It's possible, but I'm not sure what kind of like maybe that's the room number. She would remember that. Holy crap! I told myself I couldn't simply face what I saw, but but now is no time to think that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it, it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object that had been thrusted into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? It's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sakura's right wrist has been broken. There's gold dust in there too, so I'm guessing someone tried to, I guess, cut her? Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something glittering there on her wrist too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittering. That's definitely concerning me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger. But that's it. The palms of both of her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Saika's wrist has been added to the truth bullet section of your handy book. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her. So when she broke her wrist, that must happen early on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during this struggle. The killer attacks Sayaka in the main room, which is whether her wrist got broke, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cuts, cu cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly blow, the deadly wound. Okay. So that's interesting information that we gather from her dead body. Index, left index finger. I'm not sure if he's left, if she's left-handed or not, so maybe she wrote that with her left index. Ah, god, that's gotta be painful, right? Uh, but, uh, that's one idea. She's also, that's probably just from coughing blood. Some sort of sharp object has been thrusting in the stomach. That must have been the killing blow. Alright, yeah, this is... Alright, um, her legs are also twisted, it seems like. Like her right right leg, or left, or right feet. I'm not sure how that people die or something, but the way that it's twisted like that, might have some sort of clue, but no, it's not. No, they're not giving me the uh, eye uh, option, so. Alright. Anything in the background? No, nope, never mind. So, nothing in behind her is doing anything. Alright, what about shampoo or condiments or whatever? Or anything on the right side? Doesn't seem like there's a lot of things. What else is there to investigate aside from her dead body? I don't see anything else to, uh... Oh, what? Or is that just her again? Oh, God damn it! Stop tricking me, game! Alright. I really don't know what the hell to think of it now. It just confirms the... Uh, whole struggle and shit that someone tried to cut her wrist or something. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. Yeah. Confirm what I said. And the weapon of choice is this knife thing. Let me reveal the evidence. So evidence of struggle, okay. The sword, so someone definitely did hit her on um, the wrist. I mean 
why she would carry it on her wrist, I don't know. So it's definitely someone hit her. Let me read this just in case. Saka Rizka has been fractured and a glitter at her injury location. In addition, her hand appears to be completely clean, except for the left index finger on her left hand, which has some blood on it. Okay. Definitely a... It, does it have a stab wound or something? Additionally, her left hand... Oh, sorry. Her hands appear to be completely clean, except for the left index finger on her left hand, which had some blood on it. Alright. I don't know any other information I can gather. Maybe I could talk to, uh... It would seem... It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. That's most likely Saika's dying message. Alright. i never seen something written in blood before. It really... Was her final message? If it was... As it's... Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, report card. Is Saika still here, or... It doesn't say her handiness, so we we don't know. Fuck, okay. The thing I remember Mako- okay. Shit. I saw no information there. It's as if she wrote- maybe if we like, talk to her more often or something, we could've gotten more information on her, see what she's all about. So I can see how like the social and gathering is also connected to the investigation as well. Okay. As if she wrote something with her- wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk a do you often talk like an aspiring poet? <laughs> but the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. Room number maybe? So... The way she wrote the number makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. Ugh, seriously. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her. It means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, you wouldn't know what the result would be. The result? Wow. Think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mysteries of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're truly saying, but it's obvious that you're not gonna tell me. Dying message has been added to the truth bullets of the handy book. Sounds like Kyoto. Okay, so let me hold on. Shit. Uh. What was the uh, thing again? Start. There we go. Okay, so reaction. No, I don't want to. What's the uh, fucking button to uh, triangle square? Regulations? No, no, it's not regulations. It's not report card either. Present or truth bullets. What was the one where we like had to like in case we accidentally skip some dialogue a transcript there we go All right, um, can we even go any for oh, okay? So here we go, okay, because I'll think about it. You're not gonna tell me okay, so Let's see what let's review what she said the way she wrote the numbers makes me think she, she wanted to use her body to block them to block the numbers She if she wrote them in that location while she was sitting that way we found her it must mean she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall if you were to write something in that position do you know what the result would be backwards wait hold on one huh I have an idea. Hold on, let me see the evidence again of the one one something. Leon? Yeah, the Leon. Oh, dude. Dude, I trusted you. Leon, what? Well, I think we know who the perpetrator is now. At least a suspicion of it. Unless she's trying to blame, but why would she do that? So, yeah, Leon. Especially since there's like a smudge of... Of the thing. Oh, man. Leon, you were my friend. Why would you do this? 
God damn it, Leon! Uh, well, we found our- Well, okay, that was a lot easier than we expected it to be. Alright. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who would better- Well, Makoto. there's one other thing I want to ask you about. Do you know how the door- Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah. I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. <laughs> Bathroom floor frame has been added to your truth bullets section of your handy headbook. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. That's you didn't right. notice? Well, try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said, said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. What about the doorknob? What the heck? The doorknob is practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? Someone seem... must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it is, it's obvious that this was intentional. W what? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only girls' bathroom can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just I just have one more question for you. Do you men you mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when she we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. She had the slightest sense of smirk on her face. I got the sense that she really, she was really starting to get into all this. Now that clears that up, huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. Oh fuck. As if I for as if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Alright, well the bathroom doorknob is I'm not sure how is that. I guess that just pertains that Ugh. I still don't remember really understand any of this, but I've already given up my room for a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into the murder weapon might have come from. Oh, and also I should look into his DVD Sakaya. Sayaka I got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see if myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Like the trash room, of course. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks if they'll even talk to me. That is. But then again, at the same time, like. Uh, maybe the killer is actually really smart and trying to pin the blame on Leon. I don't know, he might... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, Leon's definitely my suspicious person right now. Especially with the way he's been acting and how he really wants to get out of here. Alright, should we go to Saika's room first? Or the... the Saika's room is the closest, so let's go to her room first. What the fuck are you doing here? Very so, strange. why was Saika in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, you got it all wrong! Saika and I switched la last rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Hmm. Even if what you said is absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? <laughs> After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? Well then I would have died then! What are you saying? The reason Saika was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? She's dead because of... me? Then it should have been me that died. <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. That's... If that's really true, then I... Shut up, Yakuya fucking... Shit. Leon, we got some words to explain! Let me talk to you real quickly, you son of a bitch. Like... Something doesn't seem right. Oh, really? The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Nameplate. What? Seems... Hmm... Wait the fuck. Wait a minute. Kyoko? 
Wasn't my room... Fuck, where's my, uh... Yeah, this is my room. And yet, it has Sayaka's... Can I search that thing? Huh? This is definitely my room, but the nameplate says Sayaka's in name on it. And I'm guessing my room is now... Makoto. Interesting. This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate is has my name on it. Leon, you're just making it even more suspicious that you're doing it! The nameplate on my room and Sayaka's room were switched? So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally... Wait, hold on. So all that effort I put into switching rooms w without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Okay, dorm nameplate has been... Let me talk. Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Maybe he's giving me a hint or something? Unintentionally, of course, but... Yeah, they switched out the nameplate. Interesting. Alright, right, right. We should we should probably go into, like, Sa Sakaya's room or something, right? And get in. Right, the tape. We should have that as our evidence or something. There can only be one thing in the trash can. Get the DVD Sakaya's name on it. Alright, it might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking it out anyways. I'm sorry, Saki, I need to borrow this DVD. And I don't think there's really any point in... I don't think there's really anything worthwhile to search for, right? Yeah. Although I am very suspicious about Leon's room. Leave the area? So I really need to search his room if possible, but I don't think it's... I can, can I? Where is uh, his room anyways? Uh, what does his icon look like? Is that him? Blur coming tearing out of the desk of the hallway. Hey, you bastard. Hold up, hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Huh? How does my room have anything to do with the investigation? Well, I suppose that's a natural reaction to someone trying to go into your room without permission. Fuck, okay. God damn it. What about... Okay, so what about, uh... Does that reaction also happen to everyone else? Like, where the fuck is his room? And then the hall... My god, he so looks like... There's no way, like, his fucking model just look like Peter Griffin or something. Can't tell what the door... Is. I heard a rumbling... Like a herd of elephants stamping their down with. Mr. Hold it right Nishi. there, Mr. Nayagi! Huh? There's trying to no enter someone's room without their express permission is the highest breach of it. So Whether it's easy. related to the case or not, you must respect the person's right to privacy. Fuck, okay. So, yeah. Right, uh, trash can room. We'll go to the me media room later on. We really need to search for anything in the trash can room. Maybe there's something that could uh, be uh, related to the case. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Can we even open this shit? There's a sturdy gate here, no way to get past. Monokuma appears! It's the end of the line! The trash room? This is where all the trash is in the school eventually winds up. How'd you get this gate to open? No, no, you can't go any further! Only person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further! Only person in cleaning duty is allowed in. Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further! <laughs> no, this is stupid. It'll be faster if I just go around and ask others. No, no, you can't Fuck off! At least, okay, so... Whoever wants to get rid of evidence is on cleaning duty. Alright, so I could interrogate someone with that. Leon! Were you on cleaning duty? Where the fuck are you anyways? There you are. Wait, what, what if I search into Biaka's room? Yaka's room. Hey, huh? Did I give you permission to do that? Get your hands off that door. Well, I can't imagine this has anything to do with the case anyways. Anyway, so... Is there anything else? Seems like Never mind. So I can't question anyone about the whole, uh... Fucking thing, huh? Byakuya, can you tell me anything about cleaning duty? No. Such ignorance. You're like a child lost in the woods, you know that. It's a total waste of space. What do you mean? Hmm. Taka's the 
Taka's the one who has any interest in organizing things like that. <gasps> Taka! Thank you! Thank you! Okay, good, good, good. Thanks, uh, where's the fuck's Taka? Fuck, well, I'm... Yeah, it's map, right? Alright, wherever Taka is, I need to know where, who was on cleaning duty. If it's Leon, that, that's definitely a suspicious... Sort of suspicion. Although, where Taka is, I have no idea. Um... There he is, okay. I just have to search for the bastard. Alright, where are you? There you are. First try, too. Cleaning duty, eh? As a matter of fact, Monokuma came to talk to me about... to me yesterday morning. Really? He probably realized I was basically in charge, so he decided to talk to me directly. The topic of conversation was assigning cleaning duty. Oh, so you're on cleaning duty, you know? Actually, no. Huh? Okay, who is? <laughs> he fooled me was also there when he we had this conversation. He volunteered right away, so I let him have it. So he's on cleaning duty then. Count Indeed. Me. But we'll swap out on a weekly basis, so I'm sure you'll be up before too long. Then what the time occurs, I'll be counting on you. Okay, so Leon is not cleaning duty person. Shit. What's this place again? Fuck. Is this downstairs or... What? Oh, this is main entrance, right? Oh, hey, there's Celeste. I'm not sure if she has anything interesting to say. Hey, Celeste, do you know anything about this cleaning duty stuff? Huh? Cleaning duty? What is that? <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Maybe you should ask Taka. Oh, okay, thanks. So he thought he was on cleaning duty now. Alright, I gotta to interrogate him then. Where the hell he is. This is a very long investigation, I think. I had to usually take a break sometime. I'm not sure how long it's like. I feel like the investigation is like the same thing as Phoenix Wright or something. The way they uh, take quite a long time. Alright, I'll talk to him and then we'll take a break real quickly. Alright, Himifumi. Um, um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Hmm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why'd you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. So I formally applied for the position. Hmm. I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room? Here we go! Of course! It is my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it into the trash room. And to do that, they'll have to, they gave me a key to the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need the key. You need a key to get into the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point? What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever we want? That doesn't. That does seem more convenient. So in other actually. Words... Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. So that, that must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. But boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you hey fatty. Why'd you want the cleaning gig anyway? Oh. I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. So what's the big deal? You... Liar. I know why you did it. Is it? You want to dig through all the girls' trash? <laughs> Looking for, you know, and poking around at it? There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. We'll go with that. You know what I mean. But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... <laughs> I will never get tired of 2D! Oh. Dude, you are 2D. <laughs> You're the embodiment of 2D, dude. After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily choose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. Okay. How are you totally not embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them. From cleaning, from picking up the trash to disposing it of it. <laughs> what? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not what it's supposed to. 
Anyway, on another topic, Ifumi, since you're on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm -hmm. What? So now you suddenly want me to join my... You suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but I haven't... Ha uh, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I just was hoping that you... I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You oh, okay. So... Easy. So, he put me and I decided to turn to ooh, the trash room. Hmm. You'd like me to open this gate, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please just hurry up. Okie okay, dokie, leave it to me! Ifumi pulled up a key on his pocket and used it. Okay. Okay, here we go. And we get some information, Mr. interestingly Nagi. enough. However, Mr. Nayagi, surely you aren't planning to use the trash room as destroying evidence, are you? Y you fiend! You planned this all along! N no! I just wanted to see if an actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if you left anything behind. Wait, maybe a parallel world? Whatever, just, let's just, yeah. Uh, this guy's screwed me. Um, there's some broken shit here. What's this all about? There are shards of broken glass scattered around the front of the incinerator. It looks like it's used to some kind of, alright, we need to take a break here, huh? We'll be right back. Stay tuned for the next episode of Danganronpa. Right? They got Rod Pod. Never mind. Whatever. How the fuck you pronounce that game? Be right back. It looks like it's used to be some kind of glass ball, just about as big enough to fit through your palm of your hands. All right. Not sure what that's about. Yeah. Is that? Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Mm. And kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on the big city street corner. Gaze into it, and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. Okay. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. They should all still be at the gym. I better go find, find out. Shattered crystal ball. So there's still the gym somewhere? It's either future or something. Isafumi, what the fuck are you doing in the trash can? Oh my god, we got multiple culprits here. Alright. What about this thing? A green button and a yellow button. That's... On my screen, it looks red. But again, it might be the color saturation or something. There's no doubt they're related to the big mechanism. Alright, what about this thing? Blood! There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. It has blood covered in it. Mm. A burnt piece! Like a hunk! Like a hunk of burning love! God damn it, fucking Peter Griffin. Anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth and a shape. It's part of the sleeve from a buttoned-up shirt. And now that I think... Now that... I look at it, it's definitely blood on the cuff, which means this is all that's left of some of the evidence that destroyer killed. Killer's destroyed. But there's a lot of people with here with white button up shirts. This isn't enough to. F I guess it's process of elimination. So let me check out the report card. Clearly, I'm not it, right? Uh, Kiyotaka is a suspect, I guess. This guy's wearing. Well, no, he's wearing a white button up shirt inside. So he could be a culprit, but again, I don't think so. Mono, from what I'm seeing, I'm not seeing anything. Leon definitely fits the bill. Ifumi definitely fits the bill. Yeah, Sahiro definitely fits the bill. Sayaka, he fits the bill even though she's dead. Uh, her inside shirt definitely fits the bill. She's wearing a t-shirt, so it's not a buttoned-up shirt, so I was out of the question. She's not. I don't see any white on her, or at least whatever. Or her. Oh, I see a schoolgirl uniform, but it's not a buttoned-up shirt, I don't think. There's a buttoned-up shirt inside. Okay, so... Alright, culprits leading to Leon definitely feels like it's him, but at the same time, he could easily be framed or something. Burnt sh shirt piece. 
has been added to the truth bullets section of your handy book. Alright. Alright, what about what's ever in the incinerator? This is the incinerator. It's a way of, it's a in the it's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. And Yeah! And it's on right now! Do you see a green do you see the green and yellow button next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, it's pretty simple setup. You just press the green button to get it going and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later you'll be able to clean do be on clean duty and so make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? Ah! Huh? Someone turn on the incinerator? Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down. Oh, yeah. The Perhaps it was the work of a fucking hell. Do you realize what you just said? Yeah, you're you're a dumbass. You know that. You said the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes. About that, there can be no mistake. If I've gotten one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel it. Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back in the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has the key to open the gate, Most it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? <laughs> incinerator has been added to the... Okay. Is that all the information I got? Hmm. This whole thing is quite strange hmm. indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards are burnt clothes weren't. What does it all mean, Mr. Nayagi? Will you be confessing? God damn. Why me? Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. It sounds like he's living out of one of his comic book fantasies. Right, is that really it? Can I talk to him and interrogate him or something? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay, I hope those stuff are not anything that I want to be associated with. Ugh, excuse me. Uh, so yeah, glass shard, all that. It seems like I'm done with this area so far. Oh, there's one more area we can search out. That's a huge trash can. Is that where we're supposed to put whatever trash we can't burn? Well, whatever it is, it doesn't look like it's hiding here any clues. So nothing there is. But I got money! Yay! Uh, is there anything else? I don't see anything else pointing to the crime scene or whatever, so... I'm gonna assume that I'm done here. Okay! Let's review what we've gathered so far. We should, uh... Shards of glass were found next to the incinerator of the trash can. A burnt white shirt with blood on it, so, yeah. The incinerator was already on when the... Okay. Apparently the trash room was in the school, locked up by Surrey again, going about to be open with the trash room key. I really need to talk to you, fucking Leon, if you have anything idea. Ugh. Is that really all you got? Seems like God damn it! Ugh. Putting a suspicion on him. Okay, well, what about Mondo? Maybe he could say something now that I search around the trash room? No one's here. Oh, never mind. These two are here. Mondo. By the way. Never mind. You son of. Yo. Yo. Okay, so nothing out of the ordinary. I could go to the dining hall and talk to people about um the crystal ball thing because that leads to that or something. I don't know. I'm like, I was the only person here. All right. Hina, are you going to investigate- are you investigating the dining hall? Oh no, I'm just taking a break, actually. I've been taking a break since we started. This is all for- this is all a first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me calm down. So, I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Saika was killed. Really? <laughs> but if you're stuck here, because this place was closed down or something, right? So... 
I don't know. I guess if that's her explanation, then she's definitely not a motive or witness or whatever. I don't think. I think wasting my time. A bunch of vegetables are piled up here. I don't see anything. Don't worry about any of it. Uh, wait a minute. Murder weapon. R oh no no no. Ow! Please don't. Kitchen knife? Anywhere? No, nothing. Aha! There's all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing at the very beginning, or I better see if anyone in here knows more about it. Kitchen knife set had been added to the truth bullet section of your handy book. Okay. Leave the kitchen for now. Ow, Esahina. There's a missing knife here. You got some explaining to do or something? Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. yeah weird, huh? I thought it was some kind of... It was kind of strange and a knife just suddenly disappeared like that. Oh, so I was it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's nope. Right. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? No. Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen and washed my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're seeing the knife disappear while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall. Mm. Yeah. In other words, you are right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. So yeah, I was a count. Had been added to the truth bullets. Yay. Um... Hey, by the way, did you really kill... What? Of course not. I would never. Hina, do you really think I murdered her? I well, mean... she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean, you guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, I honestly have no idea. Uh, I guess she still doesn't believe me, but because she's a witness account... Hold on, let me check just in case. Odo did not come to the dining hall at any point while she was there. Or maybe we just made that up. Okay, so at least you know the murder weapon was one of the knives. So that's definitely a clue there. I think that's it for the dining hall. Is there any else other places that we can uh, figure out and investigate? What's this place? Oak's Peak Class B. AV room. That's definitely important, huh? Can't teleport there, can we? There's an exclamation point on the dining hall, so I'm assuming there was no exclamation point on the uh, gym, so we only need to search that, but that's just an assumption. Uh, okay, AV room. Talk about wondering what the hell Saika's tape is all about. Okay. Here we go. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Saika threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. Pushed play. And the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... Okay, so it starts off all nice and good shit. An image slowly appeared. It looks like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with her friends. She said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd. So full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept, except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then the voice I'd come to spite the spies so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Suddenly, the screen went dark, and in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. <laughs> what the? Saika had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more was that 
was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed? This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight for Sayaka. There's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Oh boy. Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, was right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was able to get them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Okay, so pop group disappeared, whatever. Okay, got it. <laughs> Not everything lasts forever, right? Um, what other place could we investigate? We already got the AV room. Do we investigate even further with the AV room? Or is that just like a... Hold on, where, where the fuck is it? There it is. Let me check any more investigation areas I could search for or whatever. If I could search for them anyways. There's nothing inside. Okay. Who cares about the surveillance camera right now? <laughs> okay. You know, just in case, I'm gonna check the gym, but at the same time, I'm also gonna check on Toko. See what the fuck she's up to. She was in 1B? Or 1A? Or 1B? I, I can't tell. You got any information, maybe? Hmm. To, to kill someone just to save your own l life? And I've been living with someone like that. I think I might v vomit. But what is Monokuma said really true? Did one of us really kill Sayaka? If the mastermind really was gonna get involved, they would would have killed us on day day one. That's a good point. By the way, how's your investigation going? I already told you I don't do blood, so I don't plan on doing any investigating. Besides, I already know who d did it. This After all, where was Sayaka killed in y your room, right? What more proof do we need? The Leon post. She painted Leon. What about that bitch? He really doesn't trust me at all. Whatever. Of, of course, giving out information real quickly is probably going to hinder me as well. So keeping all the information to myself is probably the best chance I could get. Um, I'm not going to bother searching for the store. No time for shopping. Yeah, I'm going to check to the gym just in case if there are still some people there. But again, I have no idea if they are still there or not. They could tell me something maybe? God, this date, this fucking investigation is way too long. Oh my god, the dead body's still there. Hey, hero. Oh, sorry. Hey, hero. Can I ask you something? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Okay. Huh? Huh? Um, huh? Makoto? What are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Ah! That's my crystal ball! But it's all smashed. What the hell? What the heck? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? What is actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did the guy totally dupe me? <laughs> oh, he said it belonged to the pillars. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna fucking save that list. Okay, he said we controlled the crystal ball, controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Um, let's put that aside for now. So you can, so you can say without a doubt that this belongs to you. Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. My god, okay. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Shattered crystal ball has been updated in the- Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, uh. And by the way, I almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? I think I saved up for the fortune telling for two full years. Came out like a million. Uh, um... That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world! That's just too too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. Ding dong, bing bong, what? Investigation time's over? Oh, fuck me.
Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Which will begin next time, uh, on the next part. Yeah, I was going to say the next recording session. No, no, I'm not that sadistic. So we'll be right back real quickly. Actually, I should save just in case. Real quickly. There we go. Oh. All right, there we go. All right, we'll be right back. Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> red door at the first Dude. floor of the school. Okay. The red door at the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Okay. Is that the fucking door? Good god, that looks out there. scary. Wait, is that the gym? Where the fuck am I? Or is that the one with the exclamation mark? Here we go, my first case. Look out, world! Here comes Jew. Like, you're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> I bet you were afraid you would be discovered as the, the murderer you are. Listen Let's not me. jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. There, we can all reveal the details of Makoto's. So they really are convinced that I did it, but I didn't do it. Me and Saika both knew that all too well. But then, who is the killer? Oh boy, okay. The one who committed the mur- Oh wait, am I voting or something? Is it really one of us? Okay. Let's just get the trial started then. <laughs> Is everyone here? Okay then, please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom, where all your fates will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. Uh, uh, we got to talk to people before we go, so... What? So whoever stuck us what? here even took the time to set up a goddamn courtroom, huh? Impossible. You know? I'm telling you, I didn't do it! Seriously! Uh... There's no point in standing around here. Sadly, there's a resolve and step into the future. Alright. So everyone's really suspecting me. Let's get started. Got it. Relax! I haven't decided 100% that you're the culprit just yet! Maybe you're obviously leaning that way, though. That is true. Oh, oops. No, I didn't want to- I was trying to talk to Chi- Ugh, yes. fuck, whatever. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Are you scared? No, no, I'm scared isn't quite right. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the myster mysteries surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Saika's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me to do that in Saika's honor. I swear, I will find out who's the real killer! As I raise my voice, I'll give myself my courage. I turn, tremble with anticipation toward the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart stay starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else is already on the elevator. When I finally stepped on, the door was closed, and the elevator started to move. Okay. Here we go. Steel box descending with heavy clunking sounds towards the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his time... Oh! Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Wait, what? Obviously... Wait, what, was she read? What the fuck?! Was she reading my mind for a second or something? What the hell happened there? I wonder- Oh, I said it out loud, never mind. <laughs> okay, so... I thought she was reading my mind or something, but it was white text. Okay. Obvious... Uh, oblivious to our sh shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. Okay, here we go. <laughs> You're not gonna finish that line? Okay. <laughs> Why do 
you think? It does feel like a real courtroom. It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? <laughs> Not even close. It's total shit. Okay, okay. Everyone in the tiny seats and sit down. Yeah. Hurry up, Phil. Hurry up. We did what he said and found our seats. Okay. Seems like we're missing two seats, too. Yeah. The one with the two dead people. Okay. The seats were arranged in a gigantic circle. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. Which also meant it'd be easier for anyone to transfer their attention and uneasy onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. Okay. And so, the curtains on our first case open. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A Why am I next to the fat guy of all people? God damn it. A deadly class trial. So, out of curiosity... Well, okay, might as well. So, out of curiosity, does, um... I feel like this is gonna take forever or something, so should I, like... Save this to the next recording session or something? How long is this uh, trial gonna take? Pre-trial prep. I really don't know. It is 9 o'clock now, but at the same time... So, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll settle this into court. Hopefully, um, I'm able to, like, re review all my shit and such. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the future of my Let's Plays. It's basically signing out.